Уважаемые пассажиры, не забывайте свои вещи. Если в метрополитене вы обнаружите забытые вещи, сообщите об этом. This is Red Square, in the rain. What a surprise. Anyway, this is old Basil's Cathedral. Old Saint Basil. Old Basil Brush's Palace. Not a bad little number, really. That's pretty amazing. And that's the Kremlin, that's the famous Kremlin Bell Tower over there. Plenty of traffic coming. And this is looking back up the hill into Red Square. That little round thing is the sort of proclamation where they used to, the Tsars used to announce things and uh, chop people's heads off and things like that. Much pomp and ceremony and all sorts. That's the historical museum at the end. That's big department store Goom on the right there. So not a bad wee spot. We're inside the Kremlin at the moment. And this is one of the squares with all these amazing churches and cathedrals and stuff. It really is quite unbelievable. Probably can't take pictures inside, but I'll just go have a little walk around the square. And it's raining, of course. If we go this way, that's the Moscow River, if you can see it. There's the Moscow River. The, the Red Tower is one of the Kremlin Tower walls. Of course, we're on the inside at the moment. I think it's just gone one o'clock, so that, that tower's chiming down there. That's the, the exit gate down uh, the, the opposite end to Red Square. That sign says, D do not go any further, no entry. And that's the, the state armory, which I've just been in. Probably the most amazing collection of things I've ever seen anywhere. Gold, all the gifts to the Tsars and all the rest of it. And these, these are official Kremlin buildings here and there's a car coming so I better not film that. And uh, back to where we started. Just about to get run over but even so it's the, it should be the end of a good day this with the uh, amazing Van de Graaff generator playing at the B1 in Moscow. Quite how I happen to be here is a long story but it should be good.
that's my hotel over the road and I'm trying to figure out how to cross this road because it's about six inches deep right in front of me and there's a bog to cross it gets deeper towards the traffic lights so I'm gonna have to wade across I think get the next splash and then we'll uh, make a run for it BMW that one. Extra broom. Don't think there's any signs of slowing down. Oh, good one. Not sure I believe this, but the other side's actually even worse. <laughs> oh, dear me, I've got to get across this one now. Oh, my God. There you go. Blooming heck, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. It's about as mad as it gets. It doesn't seem to want to slow down either. Impressive. I've got to make a run for it now. Right, so let's call it a day. This is inside the uh, Gorky Park metro station, so I think that chap over there is our boy Gorky. So I'm not quite sure who he was really, a bit of a general. Doesn't look that friendly, but we'll find out. And just over there is Gorky Park, the old fun fair big wheel and all that stuff. Haven't got time to go in there just now. It's a bit foggy today. There's the Moscow River. The other side of the Moscow River. And down there is the, uh, what they call the cultural park. Park Cultura. Well, Tol Tolstoy's house is just down there, but it was shut today, so I couldn't get in there. This is the University Tower to the south of the city, one of them anyway. One of the Stalin-esque skyscrapers, about 30-odd floors altogether. So I've got to get up to the 17th now, I think it is, or something like that. As you can see, it's a bit foggy and you can't actually see the top. I'll look a bit nearer. Right, here we go. This is the, the main tower of the, the university. It's a bit like the Empire State Building, I suppose. But this, the one in the foreground is just like a clock tower. And the main building itself just goes up and up and up and up. No, it can't actually see the top. So, once you do get up there, there's a brilliant view out of the top. You can see the Kremlin and everything. But I don't suppose you can see much today. But anyway, I've got to head up there now. See if I can get past the uh, boys on the door. Well, I have got an invite, so it should be okay. Right, off into the fog we go. 